Getting a jump start on college classes and the skills they may need for future jobs, students at Uxbridge High School say the district's Innovation Pathway Program gives them the tools they need to succeed. Now our Chandler Walsh joins us now with more on the program. Chandler. Olivia, the Innovation Pathway Program piloted last year. The state says they see work-based and work-based learning, excuse me, and experience as the future of education. High school student Hallie Doppler makes the lieutenant governor a personalized keychain using a laser. It's a skill she's learned by taking innovation pathway classes at Uxbridge High School. It was very fun to just uh, showcase what I've been doing for the past semester. The state program gives students hands-on experience and training for jobs in demand close to home. Have our students ready when they leave here to do whatever they want to do, whether it's whether it's continuing in the field or use the skills they've had to go study something else. Uxbridge High was one of the first four schools to offer the program. They received about $125,000 from the Baker Polito administration this month for new equipment and professional development for teachers. To provide our students the best experience, the teachers have uh, the curriculum, the, the knowledge on how to deliver that curriculum, and then have the types of equipment that students are going to see when they enter college and when they go into employment. About half of the high school's 600 or so students are taking an innovation pathway class in subjects like manufacturing, engineering, and design. The Blackstone Valley Chamber of Commerce works to connect manufacturing students with area businesses. These innovation pathways are critical, not only for the future workforce in this region, but also for these students to gain the skills so that they can become employable. Doppler is a senior and says the program is what made her realize she wants to pursue a degree in graphic design. By exploring all of these different options, I get a little taste of everything so I can really figure out what I want to do. The state says they're hopeful schools like Uxbridge become the model for what other communities can do. They're hoping to reach 60 to 70,000 more Massachusetts students over the next several years. Chandler Walsh, Worcester News Tonight.